well it seems that she does not require any suction in her denture she is certainly a denture acrobat but what about all those patients who demand comfort through stability and moreover retention especially in lower complete dentures for them we have something called as the semcd technique that's suction effective mandibular complete denture so what exactly it is let's dig into it my name is dr amit sadwani and i am your prosthodontist for today for your good quality comfortable complete dentures well suction effective mandibular complete dentures were first proposed by dr jiro abe from japan he listed a few factors which are going to be essential in determining whether a particular patient is actually suited for the semcd technique or not he has listed certain factors which when taken into consideration are utilized for giving suction effectiveness suction effectiveness is not a muscular impression unlike the conventional impression which utilizes the muscular forces and helps in developing denture borders through muscle trimming suction effectiveness is more of a mucosal or mucosally derived impression technique it does not use the open mouth impression technique rather it utilizes the closed mouth impression technique whereby the mandible of the patient is in a closed position so that the vital anatomical structures like retromolar pad are recorded very well moreover it develops a total denture border seal especially in those five areas of interest starting from the retromolar pad till the maxillary labial region and develops a good seal and then the retentiveness in the lower arch a simple intraoral examination helps in determining whether a patient is a good candidate for suction effectiveness or a very poor candidate for suction effectiveness and hence describes the complexity of a particular case thus what the author did was he listed a few suction inhibiting factors which would help one decide whether he would be able to use suction effectiveness or not in a particular case first is the ridge form whether the ridge is poor or a well developed ridge second is presence of adequate amount of spongy tissue in the floor of the mouth third whether we have adequate amount of space for the extension into the retromyelohyoid fossa or not then comes the very important retromolar pad is the size shape position tilt etc of the retromolar pad really favorable or not then the position of tongue on opening up of the mouth is taken into consideration whether the tongue is filling in the floor of the mouth adequately or not is seen a further retracted tongue position or the retruded tongue position is something which cannot really help suction effectiveness in the lower arch next is the skeletal relationship of the upper and the lower arch whereby class 1 is a favorable scenario for semcd and class 3 is a relatively lesser favorable scenario for semcd also a special characteristic called as the somaya sinew string is taken into consideration which is nothing but the insertion of buccinator into the base of the retromolar pad and thus actually acts as an accessory frenum which should be relieved in the lower denture and hence a better suction can be achieved by relieving this anatomical landmark well all this will be discussed into our next 3 day workshop on removable prosthodontics semcd is definitely going to form a part of our day 1 which we discuss with our participants and hence we let them decide whether this particular technique is going to be suitable for their patients or not all this into our a comprehensive removable prosthodontics workshop coming up in november be there and let us know if you would want to join us till then peace